now we have to see the site selection. What are the parameters or the factors we have to consider while selecting a cage site? The site should be having very good water quality to meet the requirements of the fish while it is growing. So temperature, pH, uh, oxygen, all these parameters we have to see. We have to see that the uh, temperature anyway we cannot control and uh, then uh, it depends on the atmospheric temperature. Then uh, the salinity, salinity in the sea, it ranges from uh, 30 ppt to 40 ppt also. So depending on the species we are stocking, we can choose the salinity. Mostly farmed fishes are uh, urethermal, that it can tolerate a wide range of salinity and uh, temperature also it can tolerate to some extent and uh, then comes the oxygen level. Dissolved oxygen is very important because uh, the fishes are stocked in uh, high uh, numbers inside a cage. So there should be adequate uh, oxygen available to the fish and uh, the water exchange through water exchange only this oxygen is uh, obtained to the fish and in such a circumstance the oxygen level should not be less than 4 mg per liter. Then the next factor I have told pH. pH of seawater ranges from 7.5 to 8.5. So, it should be more to the alkaline side. When it comes below 7, it will be dangerous to the fish. Then uh, the turbidity of the water, that is the clarity of the water. Clarity of the water can be due to different factors. If it is due to suspended solid particles, especially this uh, sea, there will be uh, sand will be there in the water. That uh, suspended particles are more means it will get uh, clogged the it will clog the gills of the fish so that breathing will be affected. When many fishes are stopped in the cage, uh, this turbidity should be in the uh, limit, you know. The turbidity should be less than 100 uh, milligram. Then comes pollution. When we are selecting the site itself, uh, we should see that the site should be free from any sort of pollution. There should not be any sewage pollution. There should not be any other domestic pollution. There should not be industrial pollution. And there should not be any uh, organic pollution, you know. There should not be so much of uh, weeds so that they will die and uh, the water quality will reduce. So all this we have to see and it should be uh, far away from this uh, site of pollution. Uh, then um, the environmental criteria we have to take into consideration for cage site selection and the uh, water current as well as the um, wave height. Water current should not be more than... Uh, uh, 1 meter per second. That is the most ideal. But in Indian waters, it's very difficult to get sites with less than uh, 1 meter per second. It will be normally 2 and above. So we have standardized that it should not exceed more than 2 meter per second. Then comes the um, wave height. Wave height again, you know, uh, in some places uh, the tidal amplitude also will be high. So the wave height also will go to 4-5 meters and all. Such areas uh, we cannot have very successful cage farming, but uh, you can do it to some extent by increasing the mooring line length. But we have found that uh, more than 2 meter uh, wave height, cage farming is not that much uh, successful. So we have to see that it should be less than 2 meters. While uh, selecting the species for uh, cage fish culture, we have to consider the biology of the species we are collecting. What are the factors we have to uh, consider is that the seed should be available in adequate quantity. So preferably, a species which has uh, hatchery produced seed is available. Then we have to see whether it is uh, uh, tolerant to stress conditions because of overcrowding in the cages. They should be growing fast and uh, they should be resistant to diseases. And uh, then another factor we have to see is that the marketability and uh, demand and cost. So a high valued species is preferred. Then uh, feed also should be available uh, for the species uh, which we are going to culture. The potential species suitable for uh, cage culture are Asian sea bass, Latus calcarifer, then Cobia, Pachycentron canada, Pompano, two species that is Indian Pompano and the snub nose Pompano that is Trachinotus mucali and Trachinotus blochi, uh, then uh, rabbit fish, Ciganus vermiculatus, then uh, grouper, Epinephilus coitus are uh, proven suitable for uh, cage farming and uh, all these species uh, CMFRA has uh, farmed in the cages and found to be very good candidate species. The next factor we have to take into consideration is the stocking of the fish. What do you mean by stocking? How many fishes can be stocked per cage? It depends on the species we are choosing. So depending on the species we have to stock the fish in the cage based on the carrying capacity of the Cage. What is the carrying capacity? It depends on the volume of the uh, cage. 
if uh, a 6 meter dia cage with 4 meter or 5 meter depth, we get around 140 to 150 cubic meter volume. Into that, how many fishes we can be stocked? If you take the example of sea bass, we can stock around 3000 fishes per cage. But if you are taking cobia, you can stock around 600 fishes per cage. So depending on the species, we have to stock the cage to the optimum uh, density. Uh, this is for getting the maximum production from a single cage. So the CMFRA has already worked out the optimum density for each species and depending on that we can stock in the cage and maximum production can be obtained from the cage. Then once when the fishes are stocked, they will have to be supplied with feed. That if uh, feed has to be uh, given adequately, that normally we give it to satiation or ad libitum uh, because uh, uh, we will supply it in such a way that the fishes are feeding it to the maximum and uh, mostly for uh, the fishes we have uh, identified as suitable or potential species, majority of them are uh, carnivorous. So we are feeding them with trash fishes. Trash fishes, what are trash fishes? Which are not, uh, those are fishes which are not consumed by uh, human or uh, those which are produced in bulk, which can be spared for giving us feed. So trash fish are fed uh, wherever it is available. But of recent, uh, this uh, pellet feeds are also available for different fishes, except for grouper. Most of the fishes accept pellet feeds with high protein content. So uh, now uh, farmers are doing cage culture with pellet feeds also. If we are not giving sufficient feed, the growth will be affected and the fish will become unhealthy which will lead to disease outbreak also. So we have to see that once when the fish are stocked in the cage, we have to feed them adequate levels. Normally for smaller fishes, uh, more feeding should be done and more frequent feeding also. So normally for a fish, we start feeding at the rate of 10 to 12 percent in the beginning of the cage culture and over the time, the feeding rate will be reduced uh, to 5 to 2 percent by the end of the culture period. So we have to adjust in such a way that the feed is sufficiently given to the fish for growth and maximum production. Then uh, once uh, the grow out period is entered, that lasts from 6 months to 12 months. In some cases, we can even retain it for 14 months also. And uh, we have to go for harvesting. One major advantage of cage farming is that we need not harvest it all together. We can do batch harvesting. We can do uh, single cage harvesting or we can do uh, bulk harvesting also. So based on the demand and the uh, cost in the market, we can uh, sell the fish. So, so far uh, the production uh, is getting very good uh, price because of this type of harvesting. And uh, mostly, you know, we have seen that these high valued fishes are very rare in the market and uh, especially cobia, pompano and all that, you know, it will not be available in the market if you go to the market to buy it. Uh, but through cage farming it is available and uh, persons you know they can buy it and, and the farmer can sell it at a premium price and since the fish is live and healthy and uh, the demand also will be high and the price they get is also premium. So these are some images of uh, harvest of sea bass and I can show some more uh, images. Yes. This is again harvest and uh, good quality and uniform sized fishes we are getting. So it will add to the value of the fish.